Hi, I'm Lori Templeman and welcome to Sunrise Stretch. We're here in the early morning calm and we're just going to do a few breathing exercises and mobility exercises to get your day started. And this series is also a great asset if you're about to go out and go for a run, go for a walk, garden, maybe even before swimming or any type of activity that you'll do. You can do this outdoors, you can do this at the foot of your bed, anywhere you find comfortable. Let's get started with our breath. We're going to get started with a few deep breaths. Special guest, Juicy the Kitty, joining me this morning. So we're just gonna step a little wide, just take a deep breath in, reaching up to the sky. Exhale down, do it again. Inhale, lift, and exhale through the middle. Our stance opening up to a wide squat with our toes turned out, our fingers spreading wide, and we're reaching up and out like a star, exhaling down into a squat, pulling our elbows in and back. And inhale, reach. Exhale down, and again. Switching up, we'll add a forward hip hinge. As we come down, reaching back into our seat, sweeping toward the earth, hinging up, sweeping overhead. Keeping a neutral spine throughout, a lifted chest to avoid rounding our back. Just a couple more. And our hands come in and together. Then with our feet shoulder distance apart, let's hold our hands up in front, fingers up like we're holding a ball, our opening and closing hands. Let's inhale, expanding the ball to shoulder width and pressing in toward head width. Breathing in through our nose, out through our mouth. Do as many of these as you'd like. It's just a great energizing movement, a qigong movement. Let's open, close, reaching forward, and hands come down. Part two is our mobility sequence. We're going to do some limbering exercises for our hips, knees, and ankles, our spine, and then our shoulders. Starting off, taking a forward step, shifting our weight, bending our knee a little bit, and stepping back in. It's just a smooth, rhythmic movement. Just seeing how our knee is feeling, our hip, our ankle. Five to 10 repetitions is adequate on each side. And then we go to the side. Just step in, bend your knee a bit, shift into it. And then we go around the corner or diagonal, stepping back and then across, our hip rotating open and rotating in. Be sure to take the step and shift your weight into your stepping foot. And let's go to the other side, front to back. Side to side. If you 
need a little extra help with balance, you can always hold on to a wall, table, or countertop. And then around the corner. We're moving our body in all the various directions that we naturally move throughout the day. We're just getting our muscles and joints ready for that. Great. From here, we can either put our hands up against a bench, a wall. Just going to use the wall right here. First, we do anything that's forward and back. Just rocking our body front to back. The rule is any range of motion that feels good and you're doing it right. And then side to side. I like to pretend there's a doorway and I'm tapping my hips into the doorway on one side and then the other. And then around the corner, we just add a little bit of rotation. And a little shake. A great place for that exercise is if you put your two fists at the foot of your bed. It's a great height and gives you a good stable place to work that mobility. And then we'll go into shoulders. Starting off front to back, our arm swings forward and back. We can step our foot forward or you can just keep your feet parallel. Just a nice loose but controlled swing. Other arm. And then side to side, you can either go up and over, or if you have a limited mobility in your shoulder, you can do an underarm swing, still moving in the same plane of motion so it still gets the job done. And then the other side, overhead or under. Then we just go around the corner, reaching forward and then behind, like we're going to reach behind and get something out of the back seat of our car. We can pivot on our feet, follow our hand with our eyes. And changing sides. Having a little shake. Let's give our shoulders a chance to roll up, back, and down. With our shoulders sinking back, dropping our chin toward our chest, turning our chin toward one side, and then down toward the other as if we're tracing a necklace. Bringing our hands to head to center, reaching up, flowing down, reaching up again, bringing our hands together, down to our heart center, and namaste. On behalf of Lincoln City Parks and Recreation and Juicy the Cat, thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy this morning stretch routine and it helps you get your day started. We'll see you next time.